wouldn't it be great if you are able to program your infrastructure just like you do with your software of course it would be great so this is the core idea behind a term called as infrastructure as code or iac so guys this is arvind here from edureka and in this session i'm going to talk about infrastructure as code in detail so before moving further let us have a quick look at the agenda for today's session in this session we will start with what exactly is infrastructure as code and how it works then we will talk about the benefits of infrastructure as a code and finally we will talk about a few iac tools i hope i'm clear with the agenda guys now before we get started subscribe to edureka youtube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us on trending technologies also if you are someone who's looking for an online training certification in devops then you can check out the link for that course in the description box below so without any further ado let us begin with our first topic what is infrastructure as a code so firstly let us try to know how infrastructure was managed traditionally historically managing it infrastructure was a manual process people would physically put servers in place and configure them applications would be deployed only after the machines were configured to the correct settings required by the os and applications unsurprisingly this manual process would often result in several problems such as cost scalability availability and inconsistency so now let us talk about the actual definition infrastructure as a code is a process of managing and provisioning computer data centers through machine readable definition files rather than physical hardware configuration or interactive configuration tools the it infrastructure managed by this comprises both physical equipments such as bare metal servers as well as the virtual machines and associated configuration resources so guys let me put this in simple terms infrastructure as code simply means to manage your it infrastructure using configuration files the key takeaway from this definition is that before iac it personnel would have to manually change configurations to manage their infrastructure maybe they would use a throwaway script to automate some tasks but that was the extent of it with iac your infrastructure's configuration takes the form of a code file since it is just text it is easy for you to edit copy and distribute it you can and you should put it under source control just like any other source code file so this was about the definition of infrastructure as a code now let us talk about how does it work so iac tools can vary as far as the specifics of how they work but we can generally divide them into two main types the ones that follow the imperative approach and the ones that follow declarative approach if you think the above categories have something to do with the programming language paradigms then you are absolutely correct the imperative approach gives orders it defines a sequence of commands or instructions so the infrastructure can reach the final result a declarative approach on the other hand declares the desired outcome instead of explicitly outlining the sequence of steps the infrastructure needs to reach the final result the declarative approach shows what the final result looks like so this was about the declarative approach and the imperative approach for more reference you can also refer to the diagram that is shown on your screen right now now let us discuss the various benefits of iac or infrastructure as code the first significant benefit iac provides is speed infrastructure as code enables you to quickly set up your complete infrastructure by running a script you can do that for every environment from development to production passing through staging qa and more iac can make the entire software development life cycle more efficient the second advantage is the consistency manual processes result in mistakes communication is hard and we are in general pretty bad at it as you already know manual infrastructure management will result in discrepancies no matter how hard you try iac solves that problem by having the config files themselves be the single source of truth that way you guarantee the same configurations will be deployed over and over without discrepancies the third point here is the accountability since you can version iac configuration files like any other source code file you have full traceability of the changes each configuration suffered no more guessing games about who did what and when the fourth point is the efficiency by employing iac you can deploy your infrastructure architectures in many stages that makes the whole software development life cycle more efficient raising the team's productivity to new levels you could have programmers using the iac to create and launch sandbox environments allowing them to develop in isolation safely the same would be true for qa professionals as well who can have perfect copies of the production environments 
in which to run their tests. Finally, when it's the deployment time, you can push both the infrastructure and code to the production in one step. And the last point here is the cost. One of the main benefits of IAC without a doubt is lowering the costs of infrastructure management. By employing cloud computing along with IAC, you dramatically reduce your costs. That is because you won't have to spend money on hardware, hire people to operate it, and build or rent physical space to store it. But IAC also lowers your costs in another and subtler way, and that is what we call as the opportunity cost. So these were a few advantages of IAC. Now let us talk about a few IAC tools. So these are the tools that we're going to talk about. So now let us start with AWS Cloud Formation. We cannot really talk about IAC tools without talking about the AWS Cloud Formation. The integrated AWS service is designed for users working in the AWS Cloud. Since AWS remains one of the most popular cloud environments on the market today, it makes sense that over 3,50,000 devs use cloud formation. As of this year, it is possible to provision 342 AWS resources types through. Cloud formation allows users to model their infrastructure within a JSON or a YAML template file. The service also adds automation features to help with the deployment of resources in a repeatable and manageable way and you only pay for the resources that you use and not the service itself. With the template configured to your application specifications, cloud formation will handle the rest of the tasks for you. The use of plain text is particularly very useful. As mentioned earlier, YAML or JSON are both supported and it is easy to establish a secure infrastructure model at any complexity level from the many templates available from cloud formation. The next tool that we are going to talk about is the Azure Resource Manager. Not to be beaten by Amazon, Microsoft's IAC tool is available for users in the form of Azure Resource Manager. Using this tool, users can provision infrastructure and handle dependencies in one seamless cycle through Azure Resource Manager templates or the ARM templates. The resources your template taps into are declaratively described within JSON and you can declare multiple Azure resources in one ARM template to establish whole project environments. Since ARM templates are endempotent too, you can reuse the same template an infinite number of times and always get the same results. Use a VSTS dashboard to visually monitor all your builds and releases and get a quick overview of the overall health of your environment and the quality of your templates. The resource manager also supports the grouping of server instances and the unified management of groups. The next tool that we're going to talk about is the Google Cloud Deployment Manager. We also have an automation tool from Google known as the Google Cloud Deployment Manager. The tool bases its execution on config files and templates all within the Google Cloud platform. It also allows you to define your resources and deploy them synchronistically. You can get access to both the beta and the alpha features and you can fully script all deployments with auto scaling and load balancing capacities. Google Cloud Deployment Manager also supports previews, which means rather than committing changes directly, you can sneak an advanced overview of the impact deployments and the changes will have. The feature allows for human errors to be avoided and to strengthen and stabilize your infrastructure as a whole. The next tool that we're going to talk about is the Terraform. The three IAC tools we have covered so far are designed to work with specific cloud environments, but that is not the case with the tool called Terraform. Developed by HashiCorp, the same company behind the Vault and Nomad, Terraform is completely cloud agnostic and helps you tackle large infrastructure for complex distributed applications, for example, with more ease than working on a cloud specific platform. Various shapes and is orchestrated in varying degrees with the focus on the core plan or apply cycle. Some teams run Terraform locally but use wrapper scripts to set up a consistent working directory for Terraform to run in. Other development teams run Terraform entirely within an alternate orchestration tool such as Jenkins. So Terraform is by far the most adaptable tool in this list. So the next tool that we're going to talk about is Puppet. Puppet 2 takes a more holistic approach to IAC setup and automation. Puppet runs the data centers for several significant companies like Reddit, Dell, and Google and runs on all OS systems. It also has one of the most advanced interfaces on this list. It has been on the market for a long time and uses Ruby based DSL as a primary language for defining the desired end state of the infrastructure. 
puppet figures out the best way to achieve the end state for you. It also monitors the infrastructure for changes that deviate away from the defined end state and automatically corrects those changes too. This is a tool developed specifically for system administrators thanks to the considerable enterprise and community support provided. And the next tool that we're going to talk about is the chef. Chef is a particularly popular IAC tool among CI CD practitioners. The fact that chef uses Ruby based DSL is certainly a huge plus point. It supports cookbook versioning from the beginning and allows you to maintain a consistent configuration even when the infrastructure needs to keep up with the rapid growth of the app it hosts. Chef provides recipes and cookbooks at the heart of its configuration. These are the self styled appellations for the templates and the collection of templates that you can use out of the box. One cookbook should relate to a single task, but it can deliver a number of different server configurations based on the resources involved. Thanks to its support for cloud provisioning APIs, Chef also works really well with other IEC tools, including Terraform as well as the multiple other cloud environments. And the last tool in this list is Ansible. Chef may be the preferred tool of many, but those in a Red Hat environment certainly appreciate Ansible. It is a tool designed with the automation in mind from the start. Ansible focuses on providing radically simple configuration language as well as being able to manage cloud instances immediately with no modifications. It is also great for performing arbitrary IT orchestration as opposed to being configuration management specific. Rather than managing systems as individual units, you simply describe how the components and the system in general interact with each other and Ansible will handle the rest. Ansible is also one of the more flexible IAC tools on the market right now. You're not limited to the feature it provides and can instead develop your own modules and routines to meet specific needs. It even has a rather attractive GUI for setup and monitoring. So choosing the best IEC tool is a matter of finding one that suits your personal preference and specific needs best. Two of the most important things to make an IEC system easy to use for you are consistency in both how you utilize it and environmental awareness. Also find the programming language that works the best for you and your team. As you will spend a lot of time at least to begin with writing content. Choose what your team can best communicate in. What makes you the most productive is the ultimate question. So guys, this was it from my side on this session on infrastructure as code. I hope you have enjoyed this session. If you have any queries related to this session, you can post them in the comment box below and we will try to get back to you as early as possible. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!